We're alive with another one of these brainwave chess games. And these are not easy to do. Uh, but we'll do, we'll do it. Let me see. Uh, i got to find here how to change the game here. Let me see. But we're doing great. We're going to do one of these chess games where... We have brain waves. Let's take a look at this. Okay, create a game. Five minutes. Move that over there. Okay, now you can see my brain waves there. There's the E, the F, the G, and they go up and down depending on my strategy, what I'm thinking. And it's your guys' job as the viewers to make the correlations. Now let's just play this game and try to win. Or if we lose, that's also good because if we lose, um, you get to see what brainwaves look in defeat, which is also extremely interesting for anyone that likes to study uh, in terms of, you know, uh, electro, uh, you know, neuronic and uh, neuronal patterns and like that um, during during chess is what we're looking at right now. Uh, okay. I just took his knight. That was good. And I can take that knight too. And should I take that knight in the middle and kind of screw up his pawn some? Maybe. Why not? Looks like his pawns are a little bit less good like that. Okay, I'm going to put him in check. Okay, I got to get my queen out of there. My queen really can't go to very many places, just down here. We normally take with that side pawn because it's safer. So, you know, if he could double his rooks over there in a quick, in a quick way, that would be horrible for me. But as it is, I don't think it's too bad. I got to get this rook into play down here. And That puts him in check. That was good. Um, I'm going to have to get my king out of here because he's going to bring his other rook over there in the corner and I'll be in trouble soon. Okay, now, are you guys paying attention to my brainwaves? I mean, I was just concentrating so much there. I couldn't really pay much attention, but... We could get into a drawn game if he comes down here and I bring my king back and forth. I would like to get this pawn here. If I get this pawn here, I'll be in... Pretty good material shape because I would have these two pawns against those, but I can instantly win this center pawn here. That's pretty good. Okay. I 
I would love to get that other pawn over there if I can. Okay, good. I'm going to try to... I guess I'll just force back his king. Don't know what I'm doing here really, but... <sighs> okay. Doing kind of good right now because he's been playing a little bit conservative. I think I can get this pawn now. I gotta be careful he doesn't get my bishop here. I'll just take that pawn. Why not just take another pawn while I'm at it? I think I'm going to get into trouble here if I don't watch out. This bishop here is Guarding that pawn quite well. Got quite a few nice I'm going kind of silent here because it looks like we might ah, be able to win this king. I've got to make sure I don't get checkmated with this king and his rook. You got 26 seconds left. Things are not looking good for me in terms of time.
14 seconds. Well, there you saw my brain waves. <laughs> wow. Do you see how it went you see how they went up right there? That's when I you know, I realized the game was over. And now I'm talking about how the game is over and they're up really high. They get when I get kind of stressed out, I think they go down some. So Anyway, it's up to you guys to make the correlation. I just took too much time. We had a one game there. And I took way too much time. But let's let's try one more just to see how this works. Oh, look at this. We're below 1,900. Well, my waves must go really down low when I'm below. I always try to get up above 1,900. If I can't do it, I... I think it's a little bit stressful for me. Okay. Oh, we just we got a checkmate over here if we can move that knight out of there, but don't see where he's going to move out of there very easy. I got to develop some pieces here. Okay, well, I got my king castle, at least. That's nice to know. Maybe this will help me knock that knight out of there. Really, really, really want to knock that knight out of there. And yeah, this will put me up above 1900, and then my brain waves will go crazy. I was already kind of thinking about that, and I figured it would be best to take with that pawn. And when can I knock his knight out? Wow. I'm going to have to. Can't move the knight out. Let me see. Oh, yes. I'll move the knight out of there. Pretty sure. He has to take with this pawn and then this. Ah, oh, no, but no. This is not working out very well. Now I'll be able to take this pawn with my rook. Now check out my brain waves. You, it's up to you guys, the viewers, to make the correlations. I'm playing the games. I have got all this stuff set up. 
like you wouldn't believe it. Just so incredible how all this stuff gets set up. Now if he he can't take this pawn because I take his I've got to now move this bishop out of the way and got a rook over here against his king. That would be very, very nice. Okay, now I can pin him here. And the queen can come back. I'm trying to think where's the best place for the queen. Protecting this pawn. Okay, I see some problems here. I knew he would do that. Okay, now check out my brain waves. They should be pretty good right now. I didn't get above 1900 though. But yeah, they're pretty high. Um, that blue one especially seems to be doing some, some sort of correlations. Um, plus six. I got to get a little bit higher. I got to play one more and get above 1900 because I can't. I'll never sleep unless I just break this and then you'll see my brain waves go crazy. When I break 1900, it'll be amazing. If I don't break 1900, they're going to get totally depressed. My brain waves are going to get totally depressed and but that'll also be valid, won't it? And you guys are the ones that are going to help me with this. It's all you guys out there, my loyal fans who help me all the time to correlate these brain waves. Okay, now which with which pawn? Pretty sure I gotta do it there. I mean I'm not gonna think too much about that, but it looks like that's the one to use. I'm gonna trick him up here a little bit. Make him think a little bit. I don't know, I took a few seconds thinking myself, but Interesting, okay, so I want to push that pawn up. I'm just going to advance these pawns on this side. See how these block his knight out? And I think in that, <clears throat> I can let him come down here and get his queen way over here. <coughs> and I'll just attack him with a with a strong attack while he's getting some pawns over there. I don't see how we can advance any further, so I'm just going to come up on this side and really try to move fast and strong against him on this side. That looks like I'm protecting this pawn, and he might think about that a little bit, but what I really want to do is bring this up here so that I can advance this pawn. Oh, I can't do it now. He's attacked my knight for the second time. Can't defend him. I can't waste a lot of time with this. Get my queen up here a little bit closer. Okay, now if I come up here. Oh, he moved his thing out of there. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what I wanted. Yeah, that bishop was protecting this line, and now he just moved it out of there. Now if I take this pawn, he's in big trouble. He's got to move his king over, and when he moves his king over, I'll move this pawn up. It's 
really, really in trouble here for him. He's going to have to protect that pawn with his bishop, with his knight, with that. And he probably lose a uh, rook here. Okay, so my brain waves should be really high. Look at that. Um, I just broke 1900, which I wanted to do. And look at them all. Wow. Okay, so it's your job. You guys are the ones to make these correlations. And those were a couple of great games after quite a while away. Um, anyway, they're going to be up there. They're going to be on YouTube. And without any more to do, we'll just sign off. And that was fun. We'll see you around. Same place, same channel, same streaming, same whatever, same everything uh, very soon. So hang tight, be safe, and... Don't do anything I wouldn't do in the meantime. Okay, signing off, the signage, and bye-bye, good night. See you around, bye-bye. Here we go. Ciao.